welcome to the Widow's Journals here on C is for Chrome. C is for Chrome. My name is Ray and I'm the Chrome. I'm just hanging out in the Chrome Cottage in the wee hours of the morning in the final days of April. It's been an interesting um, month and a bit with no internet. Um, again, my apologies for just upping and disappearing. Um, I was caught off guard with it. Um, and some things that I had been hoping would happen didn't. And, uh, and so it wasn't until last Thursday before I could even financially look at looking at the internet. Um, so, um, there will be, um, as I'm getting organized here, um, I'm kind of waking up, I guess, you know, spring is springing, still cold out there. So, uh, nothing's, uh, if it's not already been in the ground, um, nothing has been planted in the ground. Um, but I must say, uh, March going into April, um, has seen a lot of pain, uh, a lot of grief, lots of crying, lots of questions, anger. Um, I did have another, uh, day uh, last, not this last weekend, but sometime last, the weekend before, another moment where <laughs> baseball bat in the garage, um, threw some things around, um, girl has anger management problems. Which some people would say, get yourself into mental health and get all that. But mental health, where I am, is not fabulous. However, um, I've had a look at forward and eventually um, I will need them. So i um, going to try and get that going. Um, I'm not able to work, so I'll, I need provincial support um, for my financial ends of things, because uh, groceries are good. I've still managed to hang on to a sense of humor. Um, and pussycats, they like eating, and uh, they don't use the toilet, so sorry for the jiggle jiggle. Um, uh, so yes, it has been... On the grief front, I'm shifting because my wrist is doing so. I don't know where my camera stand is. I think I know where it is, but I'm not sure. Um, when I first lost the internet, I just about had a breakdown, like a major, major breakdown. Um, I didn't realize how much of my life had been wrapped around being online. Um, and so it, it threw me for a loop and, and I, I crashed and I freaked right out. But prior to losing that for, for several months, I had, um, wanted to do I really, really just wanted to do what happened on one TV show, and that was disappear. You know, grab my kids and disappear and get away from everything. Um, so I could breathe, type thing. Well, losing the internet. I did that. Um, all of a sudden... I, I had no Facebook, I had no YouTube, I didn't have um, Google or, you know, browser to go and look up stuff. And so, 
um, that did two things. One, it cut me off the from the internet support system that I had, because on Facebook I have some very wonderful people that um, were very supportive and that I could talk to if I wanted to. Um, and uh, when times were tough and start things out. So February really was the month where I came out of shock. And so it was very much attacking and lashing out. And um, it did weed out some people. Um, and it kind of felt like in some respects it was needed because I think I had some people in my life I didn't need to have there. You know, that they were just there. You know how on Facebook or how in life, you know, you, you know, whether through work or your kids as friends, uh, their parents or whatever. If you sat down and thought about it, um, you really don't know why they're in your life other than they're associated through Facebook or a game on Facebook or, um, or they're they're just a contact person via your friends uh, your children's friends you know um if you needed to you could call them and say okay what's have you seen my child <laughs> you know um but they really don't serve any other purpose in your life uh, you know, uh, teachers can be that. Your child's teachers can be that. Your vet can be that. Your, you know, even your doctor, your family doctor can be somebody that you never really see. Um, that they, they're just there. Um, you might really like the girl at the grocery store who processes your, the cashier, who processes your, your grocery groceries, but you know, and you'd be kind of sad if she wasn't there anymore but at the same time she doesn't serve any other function i think we all have lots of people like that and for me i did discover that um many years ago you know i had people on my facebook and my friends they're just game people you know people from games so um one of the things with the absence of facebook for me, um, in my grief, is actually helped me narrow down who's important and who's not. Um, so, um, and that's good. Um, the the breather has allowed me to also it it. You know, I said it, the focus on other things. So, um, I've been reading a little bit more. I've been doing a little bit different kind of journaling. Um, especially this last month. Um, prior to this month, I had been just gluing these little picture things that I got off a of wish into the journal just to add some art in there. Kind of. Um, but April has been... Um, when I've been doing journaling, um, some art, doodle art type stuff. Um, I have some travel pictures. I, I refound them, um, where I did, I colored them in. I picked, they kind of fit my mood for the day. And then sometimes it's just a little bit of poetry or something that goes with that picture. I color it. I just sit and I, you know, that's that stop moment and, and I color. So, um, so yes, fe February was very much coming out of shock. March, and it was the, oh my God, he died. Some realization of he was gone. 
Um, because while you're in shock and you're being bounced around trying to deal with stuff and not being able to deal with stuff and you're grieving you're, and deep sadness like I've been in, um, you know they're gone, but it can be very weird in that you can still feel these feel them and especially somebody like me i definitely still feel him here um so yeah definitely march was oh my god he's gone so dealing with that and then april has been um delving into it I'm thinking um, delving into the emotions and um, the what now okay you know if what uh, if I take swords off the wall or you know if I do stuff you know the it's emptiness, it's the emptiness and dealing with that. I hope that makes sense. I'm, I'm sort of hitching in what I'm saying, kind of, because I don't know, it's sort of not knowing what I'm saying. I think that's, um, being April has been very surreal. You know, the, mar the March is the wake up call. April is that feeling of being caught between two worlds you know, what was and what's going to be and feeling like I'm in a box of windows where I can see what was and, but at the same time sort of look forward just towards what's going to be, but I can't touch anything. That's very claustrophobic actually. Um, so so yes, that's that would be why there's been lots of crying and and lots of refeeling alone and feeling lost. April definitely was that um, for me. Um, and so yes, that makes it. It's been hard. This has been hard because, you know, I've been trying to get think forward and how do I want the house to really be you know I talked about the dort in previous videos the dollhouse fort idea you know making the house my own um, and then getting sideswiped by seeing pictures of him um, I tried one night to watch videos that um, I had put on, uh, I have put on YouTube, and it just upset me so badly. You know, I found some pictures of him and it upset me really prior to that. That really just, it just upsets me. Because um, it's a reminder that all that stuff is just a reminder that he was gone. What helped me and helped me stop falling into towards despair um, was my videos uh, of me talking to you guys about my grief and that's what helped um, was seeing me um, so I'm so glad that I'm I, I'm doing the widow's journals because um, And sharing with you because you know I've it, it it's good to see that point of view and be reminded so yes I do go back and I do watch my stuff sometimes um, and so yes there's there's been such a hardness to everything um, as I've moved through uh, April it's also been very surreal I must admit, it's been very, very kind of surreal. Um, I'm like, where is April gone? Uh, time seems to be so slow 
and yet so fast at the same time. Um, I was thinking earlier today um, when I first put, this is the second go round for Desolation of Smog because I'm just playing video. Um, I've done that. Uh, April seems to be the month of watching, putting movies on, certain movies on three times in a row. Um, oh, excuse me, but for those of you who've watched The Desolation of Smog, there's that point when they enter the Mirkwood Forest or the Murky Forest or whatever, be, right before they encounter the spiders, where everybody is all of a sudden very sleepy and kind of dreamy and not themselves as they're unaware of what they're doing, uh, the dwarves, and uh, Bilbo Baggins, the, uh, who is the Hobbit, um, and that's what December has felt like. It's like fairies descended upon the house and created two worlds, the one in the house where everything is much, much slower, and then I go out the I have to go do stuff or whatever, go see my doctor and, uh, or go do shopping. And it's very, very fast up there. So I don't know if anyone else has had that sense of sort of a dreamlike sort of sleepwalking sort of disconnect. You know, uh, I told a friend today it was, I, I feel like Rip Van Winkle actually were, I'm waking, I woke up and everything's changed. Everything is so, so different. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, I'm glad to leave back the confusion of March and that freaking out in February. I'm really glad to uh, leave the everydayness of that uh, behind. Um, I'll be uh, wishing in May, probably in June, and if that I could have more sleepy moments like I've had in April. <laughs> but I am looking forward to things picking up in April, I mean in May, uh, in a direction that has me being busy for myself and not focused on my grief so much. Because um, I think it would be good, very, very good to be writing. There feels like I'm going to be writing. Um, which is some of what I do best. Um, and maybe I'll be able to get on top of a mess because I don't like living in this clutter. Um, there'll be some bef more uh, sort of the before in between <laughs> as I show you my mess on the regular C is for grown. And then this... Um, and then afters, you know, just because it's good to show uh, the growth end of things um, and to share with you guys, you know, because it's not just me, you know, it's not just me, you know, uh, but having you guys there, you know, kind of is like, look, I'm proud of myself. Look at what I did. I did this. Um, one of the big helps for me has been in a weird way. This is weird because that man, when we were married, was never this much there for me as he has been for me in April, um, my ex-husband. And there would be a lot of, well, there has been questions um, since Kirk passed away about my ex-husband being a uh, part of my life. You know, people worry that, you know, you know, like the dumbness of everything. 
um, that there has been some question him taking advantage of me and um, you know me uh, filling up I know people are would be looking and have been looking as to why is this person here you know they got divorced part of it well we had slipped into some friendship he was kind of friends with Kirk but you know over this last month we've kind of settled where the two of us have been sit with it and I now can really appreciate those uh, people who do decide when they get divorced that they're not going to hate each other it's not awful it was what it was while they were married um, but life goes on um, my uh, Rob and I we had a we had cats together while we were married and he has one of he has one and I have the other um, he he gets to see the one and eventually I'll be going over to his house so I can see the other one I miss my Pavi very very much um, and this way he gets to see Cleo but one of the things that has come from this is um, that I discovered several months ago is that in the better part uh, of over 20 years I have not uh, really lived by myself let's see um, 2003 going into 2004 it's what 2021 now briefly for about a year I did live by myself I enjoyed it um, but I was lonely my ex and I we we figured some things out and we did get back together and then I have not lived alone since 2004 so that's 17 years so to all of a sudden have my husband die and not have because of COVID social contacts like I used to be like this has been grieving wise this whole social isolations uh, stuff is just insane I probably have mentioned it before um, but um, We have dinner together. He'll come over. We'll do. He'll do some work, or, uh, and sometimes we'll just sit and watch a movie while we eat dinner. But just having that extra person here on a, a you know, three four times a week, has definitely improved my mood. I don't feel so lonely. I call it the lonely, and the lonelies don't seem to get me quite as much. So. Make it what you will about having ex, exes in your life. Um, my suggestion is to pay attention to things. Be very careful. Remember you do have history and that history can come forward. Um, we almost didn't have this because it did come forward. Um, but we managed to mend fences and so and it is nice to have someone who can help me with stuff you know so and we settled in a place where I'm happy to say it's more like a brother sister relationship which is good which is probably where we should have always been um, we probably should never have got married and we should just been friends and and that kind of thing so I'm enjoying that um, so things are looking up um, and he's helping me focus so maybe he's here just for this right now and then later on life will change and things will move forward and he'll stop coming by because there won't be a need for him to come by and I'm I'm okay with that 
sometimes things are just for now. And we can forget that. So, 25 minutes in, time to wrap things up. Let's see. Uh, what am I grateful for? Because always, always here in the Widow Journals, we end on the happy. I am grateful for this house that was paid for before he passed away. Um, roof over my head. Uh, a place to start over. Excuse me. Home. I am as always grateful for the fur kiddos. Because they're amazing. And Simon specifically. Because he just... My little man just knows when mommy needs that extra bit. Um, the twins, because they're nuts. They're my frat brats and they're crazy and they make me laugh a lot. They put a smile on my face. Um, they're like a year and a half now. Um, and they just run around and be crazy, crazy, crazy some days. Um, especially Morgana. Um, to whom if I get a really good picture of it, it's because she's deemed it me worthy of that picture that day. Uh, she does not like her picture taken. Um, and Cleo, because that's just my baby girl, my beautiful lady, the crone cat, who, you know, reminds me sometimes that I, I just need to be me. So I'm grateful. For that I'm grateful for eating <laughs> you know that <laughs> I've been cooking in April not all the time um, but I've been grateful for that and I am grateful as always to um, the wonderful woman who runs me all over the place practically any time that I need it so yes I'm very very grateful for her and I'm grateful for my ex, Rob, for making time for me to help me deal with my grief, help me with getting ahead in the house and focus on the house. So, ah, uh, happies. My gratefuls are my happies. Um, having enough money to be to buy the three di the three movie set of the hobbit um lord of the rings and the hobbit are very important movies to me oh and finding music i hadn't listened to for like ever on my older laptop um and creating a um grief playlist for myself that I can go and by myself just let music guide my grief for a bit and in doing so there was a couple of songs or several songs that I feel like they come from Kirk so it's connecting you know there's songs that um, I feel like they have words in it that um, he would, he would say to me now, like, uh, Kenny Rogers did, uh, she believes in me and it just absolutely, um, after having a conversation with his best friend the other day via texting, um, it, it says it's exactly what he would be saying. It, it's different words and stuff. Because it's about a singer, and he wasn't a singer. Um, oh, they cut me off. So this possibly in two, two bits. But anyways, um, I'm gonna pop. Yeah. No. So anyways, music, music, music. That is happiness. The sunny weather is happiness, and making videos and getting back on YouTube. Amazing, 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 happy, happy. So from me to you, 
count your blessings. I am, as always, grateful you for my subscribers and anyone who takes time to actually watch my videos from start to finish. Um, blessings to everybody. And uh, I hope you always find reasons to smile. Thank you for watching.